Today's episode is about fixing things that are not so obvious with uh, Dutch and Burn. Hello everybody, it's Paweł Witkowski here. I would like to share with you today a very simple trick in the Photoshop. Uh, it will be about the Dodge and Burn uh, for some other things than uh, skin tones. So uh, probably you already know the technique for it uh, for the skin. Uh, here you can see what you can do, uh, you can do it with. It just looks very natural and, and even when you just do it. But you also can use this technique for other things, not only for the skin. So let me show you the problem. Uh, that, it, For example, I have this part of the bra that is going through the shirt. It doesn't look very nice. I would like to get rid of it. But uh, using the clone stamp, for example, or spot healing. Let's try the spot healing first. And you can see what's the problem with it. So it makes it even worse. Even if I try with the healing brush with specifying the place where I could like to clone from, it looks a bit better, but it's far from perfect. Mm, same if I try to do it from the other side. It's getting even even more better, but still, if you just zoom in, the texture here on the right side and on the left side, they don't, don't really match, and it look, looks very, very ugly and unnatural, and, and especially in the areas where there's like hair coming through, it's very, very difficult to, to make it working just like that. And when you try to use other tools like stamp, for example, a clone stamp, it, it's, it's also pretty problematic how to solve the areas that are like in the between of the hair. I would like to tell you that the, what you can do here is in fact use the dodge and burn that you also use for usually for the skin. So I already have the layer here, but I will create a new one. It's just to show you how I'm doing it. Creating a new layer, specify it that the blending mode is set to soft light. And then I do also have like a very uh, help, help layer to be set here I, because I like to see things more clearly with the black and white uh, and layer on the top of it. So. Right now, I'm ready to go using the simple brush tool with a really sl small opacity from 5 up to 10%. I try to bright and to darken areas that are not even. So let's try to do it. A few touches here, a few touches on the other side to make it even more even. And you can see that it's immediately it looks a bit much, much nicer and better and effects like that are very very nice As i tried already this technique for evening like with backgrounds that are not even during the photoshop and it, the results are really astonishing so you cannot really get the, that kind of i couldn't really get uh, that kind of results uh, in other in any other way and with few touches and some uh, practice, you can get something that looks very natural, a uh, very, very nice. So let's see, I just spent like a few, one minute or even two, oh, oh sorry. And let's see before, that's the before and that's the after again. So you still see a very small and subtle change here, but it's, up to you how much time you spend on it to make it perfect. I would try to do it maybe on the other side to, to, to have it a bit more clean. But I think that you get the idea. Just a brushing with very small opacity. Uh, use some additional black and white layer. It helps you identify the areas that are not even. And voila, you get almost perfect cleaned areas. I think that will be out of all today. I hope you like it. I try to keep it as short as possible. If you like, please subscribe. I will try to share you some more tricks in the future. And that will be all for, for now. Thank you for watching and bye.